In this video, I'll be showing you how to install phpMyAdmin, the MySQL free management tool. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer related tips. And now, let us get started. First, you have to be sure that the Apache HTTPD is installed and running. So I'm going to run systemctl, the status of the HTTPD, and it's not there. So I'm going to install it now. Then be sure that you have the Apple release repository. What is it? It's just an additional repo for the YUM which has a lot of extra packages. So it has the PHP my admin and it's going to make it easier for us to install it. To install the Apple repository, you can run yum install Apple release and if it's already installed, nothing going to happen. Also, you have to be sure that you have the latest PHP version. And for that, I'm going to run yum install PHP 5.6 and install it. Now let us search and find if now the PHP my admin is there in my repo or not. So it's there. Now let us proceed by installing PHP my admin. Now next step, I'm going to secure and enable PHP my admin by going first to the configuration file of PHP my admin. It's inside etc and then httpd which we just installed and inside the conf.d file and then inside php my admin inside that file you need to edit that require now it's running only from the local host so if you want it to run from another source or another IP just change this one to the specific or desired IP for that tutorial I'm gonna make it running from public from any other IPs from all IPs so I can run it from my machine to do that I'm just gonna comment out this require part and I'm simply gonna add saying require all granted okay let me copy that line and then we need to put it all over wherever there is that required line. Next, I'm going to save the file and now I'm going to run or restart the uh, HTTPD daemon. And now I can try it from the browser. The first time you're going to run it, it's going to ask you for a password. That password is going to be the MySQL password. And at the moment, I don't have any password, any root password. So I'm going to access the MySQL and update the user password. To do that, the password is inside the MySQL database. And then I'm going to run update user and I set the password. So password, and let's make the password, for example, dotsway. And I'm going to make it for the user root. After that, you need to flush the privileges. And for sure, you don't need to do that step if you already have a root password. Next step, I'm going to go to my IP or the address, and then I'm going to add my PHP my admin. Okay, it's running now. I'm going to put the root and dotsway as a password. So now it's running fine, and from that GUI now, you can easily manage your databases. You can create new one, you can run queries, you can do a backup, import or restore or any other features. In some other video, I'll be making a tutorial for the PHP MyAdmin. 
that's it for today guys until we meet again bye